So a couple of people have asked me how I've gotten certain achievements in R Factor 2 on Steam. So R Factor 2 is not really a game where you're like, oh, I'm gonna 100% that game, but nevertheless, R Factor 2 does have achievements on Steam. A couple of them are a little tricky to get, but most of them are self-explanatory. So nevertheless, here's how to get all 25 achievements in R Factor 2. I've broken them down into certain categories based on what you're doing, either doing a certain speed, covering a certain distance, and a couple situational type achievements as well. The first category is speed, and this is speed achieved in the practice session specifically, not the race. But if you achieve a speed of 300 kilometers per hour or 186 miles per hour, you will have achieved all five of these things. Now, obviously, each one will trigger as you hit that speed in different cars, but basically, you could grab a Formula One car or some kind of high powered car, go 186 miles per hour, and you'll be good to go. You'll have all of these speed based achievements. Next we have distance. So this is distance covered on track during the practice session. There are a variety of achievements for this. There's quite a few, but basically your goal is to hit that 2000 kilometer mark to get all of them. Obviously you get the other achievements as you go up there. So it starts with one kilometer to 10, 100, 200, 500, 1000, 2000. So 2000 kilometers in practice. This is not very quick to achieve. It does take some time. You do have to do obviously a lot of practice sessions and same with the race. So the race actually has less achievements, but the highest level is still 2000 kilometers. So basically you need 2K in practice and 2K in the race. Now, to give some perspective on this, a Formula One Grand Prix is 300 kilometers. So about an hour and 20 or 30 minutes with a Formula One car would net you around 300K. So yeah, 2,000 kilometers is a very long distance for both race and practice, but you'll earn these as you go along. You'll always be in practice sessions or race sessions anytime you're on track, so they will just come with time. I wouldn't really worry about trying to get them. There are no achievements for qualifying sessions specifically, but that's okay since of the three sessions, you'll spend the least amount of time in quali. Speaking of qualifying, pole position does have a couple of achievements as well. So you need a pole position from a standing start and pole position from a rolling start. And these are standing and rolling starts as defined by R Factor 2, not like a manual rolling start for a league. It has to be the actual rolling start in R Factor 2 where you'll follow the AI safety car and stuff like that. The pit stops are pretty easy. You just need to do a pit stop in practice or the race, just going in, getting tires or something like that at any point during any of these sessions. Race times is the one category that's not super self-explanatory. So you get certain achievements for racing at different times of the day. What's confusing is how those achievements actually trigger. After doing a bunch of endurance racing, I was pretty confused why I didn't have a couple of these achievements a year or so ago. So I did actually try and experiment and figure out how they actually trigger or if they were glitched or something, but they're not. They just trigger in a very particular way. So for instance, Dawn triggers when you're on track racing at six o'clock in the race session. So the difference is you do actually need to be on track racing at the exact moment it goes from 5.59 to six. If you, for instance, start a race at 12 noon, you won't get the achievement for driving at noon because it's actually when it hits that exact moment in time, you need to already be on track. So if you're missing one or two of these or all of them, I don't know, um, basically the easiest way to do that would be to do an AI race and like for dusk, start a race at 1758 with AI. And in a couple minutes, you know, a couple laps, you'll get that achievement for dusk. And the final category is miscellaneous, which is the first achievement you will ever get. And that's sit behind the wheel, but it didn't really fit into any of the other categories I did. So I had to make its own little category. Nevertheless, R Factor 2 is a pretty easy game to get all of the achievements in. It's not super complicated. The only thing that's going to give you any trouble is the distance of practice and the race. But if you're a sim racer and you're messing around with R Factor 2 or doing leagues or whatever, those will come with time and they won't really take as long as you might think if you're doing serious practice sessions or, you know, a lot of sprint races or, you know, endurance racing and stuff like that. They'll rack up the kilometers pretty quickly, so... That's pretty much it. Again, a lot of my videos I make are just because I get certain questions and I just think it'd be easy to make a little video and point people to that instead. Uh, if you want to, let me know what sort of topics around R Factor 2 you'd be interested in learning about because again, I do sort of tailor my content based on the feedback I get. Nevertheless, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more sim racing news and race highlight videos. If you're already subscribed, thank you very much and we'll see you next time.